the tutorial on how to create a Google site, so first you go ahead and open the internet browser mm -hmm. and type in google.com. <coughs> then you should look for more up here and you scroll down and you see something called sites. Press this and it takes you to, to this page. If you don't have a uh, user yet on Google site, you can sign up here. Uh, I will go up and enter my email <coughs> and my password because I already created one. Okay. Uh, once you've done this, it takes you to this site. You can, as you can see, I already have two uh, websites. But I'm going to create a new one. So I'll go up here where it says create site. And you will see this site. I'm going to choose the soccer template just in a, as an example. And here, this is the, the name of your site. I'm gonna name mine Liverpool is the king. And it's, this is going in your URL, as you can see down here. And now I'm gonna type in the, this code, tri uh, Trino, and then you hit create site. So your code is gonna be different from mine because um, it changes all the time. But just go ahead and press create site and this should create your site just wait a second it might take a while and there you go now you have your own google site ok now I'm going to show you how to create your own page so press create page in the top right corner and you want it to be a web page so just leave it I'm going to call it the trophy is in our hands because this relates to Liverpool so just an example and just leave the rest as it is and press create site and it takes you to this site and you can write all the stuff you want so I'm just going to type in some random um, yeah and make sure to go up in the top right corner and press uh, save because this saves the site so otherwise it would delete it so I'm gonna go up and this is how your site looks after you press save so you can just type in stuff and put in attachments and it's pretty cool now I'm gonna go to edit sidebar down here just press so it. I'm going to show you mm. how to delete a site here. And so once you uh, we'll take you to this you're going to look on the left hand side and find pages because you want to delete a page. It's pretty useful if you created too many pages. So once you get to this, you're just going to find your page. Just going to press it. It's going to take you to your page. And then you go up in the top right corner, scroll down and find delete page right here. And when this pops up, you just click delete. And there you go, it should be deleted now. So that's a pretty cool feature. Okay, now we'll show you how to share this site. So go up in the top right corner, more actions, scroll down, and find share this site. It's in the bottom. And it takes you to this site again. And here you want to look for advanced permissions. Um, and you just make sure that this one is checked if you want other people in the world can see your site so I'm just gonna leave it as it is uh, that's a pretty pretty good thing if you want other people to see your website other thing you can do is, is invite people up here so if you wanna invite like friends or others to see your website just gonna type in an email to send to one of my friends so you can look at my website and then you just press invite people you can write them a message if you want. It's pretty useful if you have to share it with your teacher or something. So they can look at your site. Just gonna send them a message. Send. And there you go. So you can just click on it and then you can look at your site. That's pretty cool. And uh, now you return to your site. And, um, damn it. Okay, so now we'll show you how to move pages. You go up to more action and press move pages. And then this pops up. And I'm gonna move them on the schedule. 
and what this does is that it creates a link on your schedule site so you can press on it and it takes you to your home page and it's, as it says in the top corner that it's, it's been moved I'm scrolling down because I didn't really understand this in the beginning so I couldn't find the link so I'm gonna try it again one more time and just be patient because it's not gonna work this time either gonna press move again nothing happened so this time I'm gonna try it with another site move pages and this time I will remove uh, wait move photo gallery press move just load and this is how I'm gonna check it out so you can see uh, on in the top it says what you did what you did so now I'm gonna go to the schedule and I couldn't see anything so going to photo gallery scrolling down and as you can see in the on the bottom created a link to my home page and if you press it it takes you to your home page that's a pretty cool feature I'm pressing one more to all the again. people to to navigate and around your website. I'm going to show you, that's pretty useful, how people can comment and put attachments on your website. So you go on page settings and then you make sure that uh, it allows attachment and allows comment. Just make sure that that's checked. Then you press save, it loads. And that should be it. Now people can put attachments on your website and other stuff pretty good if you want your teacher to comment on something so yeah that's pretty much it now you're on your own and congratulations you got your own website and I hope you like my tutorial yeah so good luck and thanks peace okay here I'm just gonna show you my own website it's the one I created a long time ago for our 21st century class I think it's pretty sweet I put a lot of effort into it so it's my portfolio and it looks like this created a home page and this picture I created in Photoshop so yeah it's, it's, it's pretty cool I think I'm pretty glad with the result and here are some things I've done in, in 21st century uh, it includes things as creating games creating robotics and this logo here a pretty, it's a pretty cool, cool, cool thing. It's an animated logo. As you can see here, it just keeps running. It's pretty nice. And you can of course put that on your website. And this is the recent thing, uh, thing I, I did in 21st century, robotics. Uh, I just put a photo in of my sketch and a video that I posted on YouTube. And you kind of have to post uh, your, bit of your videos on YouTube, otherwise you can't put them on your website. And it's a pretty, pretty, pretty good site, I think. I hope you like it, though. Uh, that's out from here. Thanks. I'm also going to post the, my tutorial on my website, if you want to check that out. And descriptions, if you lost some steps or got kind of lost. So, uh, feel free to check it out. I'm gonna post my email uh, at the end of this tutorial so you can feel free to comment or anything if you like. Thanks from here and hope you like it.